Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Our final conversation this morning in just a few minutes would be on the President, uh, Muhammadu Buhari, making new appointments um, just a year and a little bit more um, before the end of the uh, current administration's tenure. We're speaking this morning with uh, Dr. Abubakar Yunusa Ahmed, who is a member representing uh, Yamato Deba Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives. Good morning, Dr. Yunusa Ahmed. Thanks for joining us. Uh, good morning. Great to have you on the breakfast. A few people have, you know, um, basically shared their disappointment with the appointment of uh, new persons, mostly with uh, the appointment of uh, Professor Doni Salami, you know, in the president's economic team. A lot of new appointments that the president has made, a lot of people have described it as a little late um, and, you know, may not have any effect in changing Nigeria's economic uh, story or, you know, any other story. Um, do you agree with that or do you think that the president has made the right choices here? Well, uh, good morning, viewers. And, uh, thanks for that uh, question. The appointment is not rather late. When you look at the credentials of the Tudorian Salani, you will uh, observe that the president has made a good choice by appointing him. And it could be likened to putting, you know, a spire tech in a spire form. Dr. Doyen, when you look at his degree and the contributions he has been given, has proven himself to be a renowned economy. Somebody that has been from the academic, he has conducted much of researches, and he has been in tandem with the Nigerian economy by the virtue that he served on the committee in the Central Bank. So he is not somebody that is not conversant with the trend and the economic trade. During his stint at the Central Bank, he has uh, contributed enough to stabilize the economy. For quite some time, the dollar has been relatively sustained. I mean, the, the foreign exchange rate. And during the COVID, 2020 and some most part of 2021, we enter recession. With the economic recovery plan put in place, coupled with some advice from the Sudan, uh, Nigeria sustained a kind of economic growth that gets us out of the economic crisis we enter. As we are talking to you now, for about five consecutive quarters, we have sustained growth and we are out of the session. Secondly, when you look at the inflationary trend from 17 point something due to the effect of the uh, COVID-19, it has been trimmed down to about 15 which is hidden to about 14%. So, credit goes to the going. And it was this crisis that the president saw in him that he brought him to head the Economic Advisory Council and asked him to take charge. And believe you me, the going could do magic. Because the, the World Bank perception and when you look at the IMF projections, Nigeria is a good, uh, I mean, it's, it's a right track. And with Dr. Doing in position, I think so many things can be done. So Dr. Doing's appointment has come in a good time, at least better late than never. Okay, so with uh, Dr. Doni Salami, what um, economic uh, achievement should we be looking at, you know, come 2022? I mean, what should we be looking at? What do you think that he's going to bring on the table in terms of, you know, the death rate that uh, Nigeria is actually 
currently um, involved with. And uh, also, you know, the inflation rate, amongst other economic issues that we are faced with, what should we expect as Nigerians? Well, at least I have thought about the, uh, the inflationary trend, the contribution that we are expecting from uh, doing. Like I say, the inflation will, will, is going to sustain the coming down of the inflation. Like I said, from 17 now, we are almost 15, going down to 14, and it will continue like that. Secondly, with the global trend, when you look at it economically, what we expected from the Todoin with the 2022 budget, and from the indices of the 2021 implementation, our debt, despite the high profile, at least the most important thing, we have been servicing our debt. And for about three years, so since 2016, when Muhammad Buhari came into power, the debt servicing has been 100% every year. That is year on year basis. So with that, and with the monetary policies being put in the CBS, which Dr. Doyle is in tandem, we will now just support this on the general economic overview to sustain the growth until we are relatively comfortable. Well, um, Dr. Yunus Ahmad, uh, we, of course, uh, Unfortunately, we would have to end uh, the conversation here. Um, but it's a good place to start, and we will continue this discussion and bring in other angles concerning these appointments uh, on a later date. Thank you very much for joining us uh, uh, this morning, even though very briefly. Um, and of Thank course, we we'll wish you a great day ahead. Thank you very much. All right. And uh, it's obviously a very important uh, conversation, and we will bring it back uh, to speak about the effects uh, Doin Salami will have. And of course, the new appointments that uh, the current administration, uh, President Mohamed Abouar, has made um, lately. Um, if you miss out on any parts of our conversations, it's pretty simple. Uh, you need to just simply reach out to our uh, social media platforms at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Osao Gye Ogbonwa. And I am Messi Bopo. Thanks for joining us and do have a great day.